someone is asking for food. Hey RC fam, back again with another video. I haven't been working on my RC cars quite a while now and what we have here is um, HPI jump shot. I do have love and hate with this car. Um, mostly the <laughs> mostly it's the, ge the gearing is a, it's a letdown for this RC car and that 48 pitch gearing I think the stock one is 17 pinion and 80 tooth spur that is just a big letdown though um, it's quite whiny it's quite noisy and it's been replaced it's been replaced as well the thing that I like about this car is it's quite a simple it's quite simple and it's easy to work with so what I'm going to do is I bought this from Aliexpress this is a gear set for Axial SCX10 I believe it and this is only around a dollar Australian dollars it comes with all the slipper uh, so all with the slipper clutch it comes with the 13 to pinion and I believe that is a 53 or 56 spur gear and I'll show you the difference between the 48 pitch sound and the 32 pitch sound I'll, I'll show you at the end of the video thanks guys so what we can see here is left is the stock one 48 pitch and right one is the 32 pitch for xl xx10 it is a direct replacement i don't think you will need to do anything but let's proceed and you even get the 32 pinion as well for a 32 pitch so let's let's just proceed and see how we go i don't think you will need to do anything i think it's a straight replacement And because I put Loctite on the pinion, I rather heat it up first rather than regretting it because if it's actually stuck in there, it'll take a lot of time to take it out with Dremel and stuff. So might as well just be patient, heat it up first. And remove it. And there you go. So lucky enough I have this pinion gear. I'm not quite sure where is it coming from. But the one that comes in a package is quite wide at the end of it. Like this one is quite narrow and it's and it's quite good. It fit nicely in there. I did give it a test. But yeah, unfortunately I thought that package will this will be like plug and play. It looks like you still need to look for opinion when you buy a spur and pinion gear from aliexpress or unbranded one and when you're adjusting the mesh you will need to check like four corners of it so that's why i just put a sharpie in that one two three four check the mesh between that one that looks good feels good that feels good that's perfect and that feels good the reason is sometimes they are not cut properly if it's an unbranded one but by checking all those four corners you'll find out that they are and it i would not recommend to put the gear cover in because this hole in here most of the time dirt just got in and then 
just stuck in there and mesh, mesh up all the gears um, but if you do want to put the gear cover back you can download a 3d you can download a cover from thingiverse i have downloaded it and i'm gonna start printing it as well but at this stage i would just leave it open for now okay so this is how it sound like when it's on 48 pitch this is running on 2s as well Alright, just a quick test drive. I did try it. It is smoother than smoother than before by far. And quicker. Just a quick feel of 3S with a short course. Let's see how we go. Okay.